What are the different levels of wealth inside the ultra secret richest lives? Did you know that if you earn one dollar per second, it would only take you eleven and a half days to become a millionaire? But to make one billion dollars, it would take you thirty-one and a half years. You think the gap wouldn't be that much, right? You might think that wealth can only be measured by poor or rich. Actually, there are five different levels of rich, and in between those levels, you can see that there are significant differences. For today's video, exclusive for Fortune Fastlane members, we are going to talk about the life of the ultra-rich people in the different wealth levels. We will also divulge into how these people spend their money, including their most peculiar and luxurious purchases. However, as you watch, you'll see that the biggest changes for each wealth level are based on perspective. This is because prices feel relative to how much you earn. Somebody who makes $40,000 a year has 10,000 times less money than somebody who makes $4 million a year. For somebody who makes $4 million a year, the cost of a Lamborghini is equivalent to the cost of spending $30. A $10 million piece of art feels like $1,000, and a $50 million home in the Hamptons feels like $5,000. As you can see, these grand purchases are not even something billionaires need to think about. And if you are wealthy, you can afford everything absolutely anything. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Coming at the first level of rich are the top 1%. These people are those whose income is about over $200 a year. So if you know someone that missed this criterion, then they are technically part of the top 1% of worldwide earners. But you might think that being part of the top 1% is not that rich. Yes, these people can afford a lovely house and a nice car, but with these purchases come expensive maintenance costs. With that, this could mean that these top 1% rich people are still working full-time jobs. This is probably why the next level of rich is in terms of net worth. Net worth is a better measure of wealth than just income. Because when you have more money and assets, you are probably not earning from a salary. The next level of rich is a net worth of $10 million to $30 million. You live comfortably at this level. With a big house, you occasionally fly first class. And for a special occasion, you might book a hotel room that costs $2,000 a night. You're able to afford healthcare, and your life can't be destroyed from an emergency financial situation. However, you are not that kind of rich, wherein you don't care about money and expenses. You still have to be sensible and careful when making big decisions. And in the banking world, you are not ultra high net worth. Taking the third level is those who have a net worth of $30 million to $100 million. If you are a part of this level, then you are one of the players in the big league. Rich people in the third level usually run or have a controlling interest in a big company. They are also the same people who always stay at five-star hotels and probably own a lot of properties in different countries around the world. They take luxury vacations at popular and expensive times of the year, such as going to Monaco for the Grand Prix or attending the film festival at Cannes. They are the same people who have personal assistants. Aside from this, they can buy anything a normal person thinks rich people would buy, like cars, jewelry, and air travel. They could hire a private flight or charter one through an airline network. Buying an aircraft outright can be costly, so you would purchase the use of it with a company like NetJets. It would cost less to have the service on demand than it would own the aircraft. However, the higher you climb, the more your social circle evolves and influences changes in your lifestyle. At this level, your friends are probably members of Congress, senators, and the like. Thus, you are admired by many high-class people. Nonetheless, you may still feel like you don't have enough of what you want since you are surrounded by other wealthy people. Sure, you may have just bought a new Ferrari, but your friend has one of only five ever made. And though you just had dinner with a local governor, your billionaire friend just had dinner with a president. And the fourth level of wealth is those who have $100 million to $1 billion. If you have made it to this level in your career, you probably have ownership of a business that most people have heard of, even if they haven't directly heard your name. You also likely go back and forth with movie stars, rock stars, and the corporate elite on a regular basis. You can live anywhere, but always in style. With several residences all over the world, luxurious cars at every residence, a private island if desired, and of course, a private yacht to take you there. Being part of this level means you can have almost any experience you dream up made possible. 
For a donation of $100,000, you may be able to play tennis with your favorite tennis star or have your favorite band come over for a private party. And if you are fond of art, your personal assistants can set up a private tour for you at the Louvre to show you some masterpieces they have not exhibited for how many years. This just shows that money can literally get you anywhere you want. And if you have a lot of money, you can buy the most expensive and bizarre version of something. For example, Toilet Paper Man, an Australian company, produces 22 karat gold toilet paper for $1.3 million, or over 10 times as much as regular toilet paper. And if you're wealthy enough to be able to literally flush money down the toilet, then why not get an entire gold bathroom? You can literally buy anything related to luxury so long as it has gold in it. And if you want more gold, how about a 24 karat gold water bottle? It also comes with spring water from France and Fiji, combined with glacier water from Iceland. Why not have your phone in gold too? If you want, there is world's most expensive iPhone, which has a 24 karat gold casing, at least 600 white and black diamonds, and sapphire glass for its screen. It is not available to the public, but if you have $15 million, then you can surely have one. Being a member of this level of rich is not just about buying the most luxurious stuff, but getting the rarest, most exclusive, and most expensive items. You can either buy a $160,000 limited edition pen that has 4,810 diamonds and are only made 8 times a year. Or if you want to go big, then why not switch to art? Not those rare paintings, but other items like dead shark art pieces, as seen with Damon Hirst. Damon Hirst's work sold for $12 million at an auction, and the proceeds benefited a charity. Also, specific purchases such as a crystal piano that was used in the Beijing Olympic Games were bought at auction by a private bidder. The price of the piano was a whopping $3.22 million. The only true limit to what you can do is your imagination. And finally, the last level. And finally, the last level. The one that you have been waiting for. The final level is those who have a net worth of $1 billion and above. Before we get into what a billionaire can achieve, which is really incredible, it's important to know that Forbes' annual rich list has seen a considerable increase in the number of billionaires. There are currently more or less 2,755 recognized billionaires as of today. Though there might be more billionaires out there that just simply do a good job of staying out of sight. Nevertheless, Forbes estimated that these billionaires are worth $13.1 trillion in total, hence they together possess more wealth than the world's poorest 5 billion individuals. As a matter of fact, Oxfam stated that the top 26 richest billionaires have more wealth than the poorest 50% of people in the world. You might get overwhelmed with these facts, but let's actually put everything in perspective and visualize it. James Janney did an excellent job of visually illustrating wealth differences on YouTube using rice. Here, this rice example demonstrates how there is a huge difference between 1 billion and the kind of wealth that Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk has. In the past level, we can see what we can buy with having a $100 million to $1 billion net worth. So, what can a person with a net worth of $1 billion and above do? Because essentially, you can buy anything. And I do mean anything. But at this level, we are no longer just talking about luxurious items and experiences. The first one is access. Your personal assistants can contact almost anyone in the world and get a call back. It's amazing the level of access and respect that a billion dollars can get you, where within an hour your employees would be able to reach someone, and they would do it quickly and easily. Well, what is having a billion dollars without having an influence? If you're a billionaire, if you're a billionaire with great wealth and connections, you have the ability to shape society but not in a bad way like lowering taxes for the rich, even though that happens. But with your fortune, you can help lead and influence the world. In addition, you can buy impact. With your money, you can have a huge impact in life and help people unconditionally. You might wonder how to ensure the distribution of your money and what to buy with it. Clean water for villages? A new hospital? Saving an animal species? With the money you have, there are many ways to choose what to do and when helping others. But there is one thing that sets billionaires apart and that is the ability to buy time. You don't have to wait for anything. No lines and no sitting around. For example, you own a private jet, so you can just show up at any airport and take a seat on your private plane in just two minutes. Once you arrive, a driver will also be arranged to pick you up and take you wherever you want to go. And then your assistant will make reservations at the restaurant of your choice, and perhaps arrange a celebrity chef to come to you if you'd like. How convenient, right? 
But despite all of these, there are still some cons that come with being super rich. One is that it is nearly impossible to form meaningful friendships or relationships as a result of social isolation. You'll also find that it can be hard to trust people. After all, if you don't know who's in your world, chances are they're looking out for their own best interest only, rather than yours. It is also hard to form deep emotional connections with new people because of your busy schedule. In addition, people trust you less and are more hesitant to connect with you outside of work. Dating is also an odd experience because despite many attractive and smart women around, it's hard to find someone you have a connection with where you can spend time together in some kind of serious way. And even if you find someone who willingly does things for you, it can feel awkward in a relationship when one person has more money than the other. Finally, and most importantly, money can't solve everything. Money can't protect you from death. It will make you feel better if you lose someone you care about or have your own health problems. Those are the things no amount of money can solve. Our Reddit user inspired this video and deserves full credit. He met Sylvester Stallone at a party, who has obviously had a very successful career. However, he also had a special needs son who died young. In his words, nobody has it all. Nobody does. If you are watching this video and feeling poor, it is worth rethinking. We looked at many levels of wealth in this video, but the fact that you are watching this video means that you are wealthy in the eyes of society. You are still not close to the bottom of wealth pyramid. It's easy to get frustrated that some people have so much more than us, but just think about the people lower on the pyramid. If you have internet access, can afford food, clothes, and shelter, and have a place to sleep, then you are among the lucky ones. More than 75% of people don't have these necessities. Even if you have $1 to your name right now, you are still richer than the majority of the world. This statistic really emphasizes that there are many levels of poverty, rather than just a small number of people who are rich and a large number who are poor. In actuality, regardless of how you are in debt or if you have nothing, you are better off overall than the majority of the world. This video showcases that while there is a great divide between rich and poor, there are many different layers of wealth to explore. And if you compare your wealth to the rest of the world, you might realize that you're actually pretty well off. There you have our Fortune Fast Lane video for today. What do you think about the different levels of rich? So when are you going to start today to build your empire? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for us. For you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know that one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.